Hello and welcome to Soft IQ Technologies. In today's video, we'll be looking at how to install Udo 17 Community for production on Ubuntu 22.04. From our previous video, we had covered installation and setup of Udo for development. Below is the agenda we are going to cover. We'll first of all need to purchase a cloud VPS on Ubuntu 22.04. Then we are going to update and upgrade Ubuntu packages. Then we will install Python and Python dependencies. Then we are going to create a new system user for Udo. We are going to install PostgreSQL database and create a new user for PostgreSQL. We will download Udo files and create Python, a Python environment, virtual environment. Then we are going to install Udo and configure Udo files. So the first thing you need to do is uh, to purchase a VPS, uh, either from AWS, DigitalOcean, Contabo, or Linode. Then you can access this, you you can access it using uh, your favorite command line. So for our situation, we are going to use PowerShell. Then you're going to access our VPS through SSH. Then it's going to prompt you to enter the root password. So once we log in, uh, now we can be able to go to the next step, which is uh, to update uh, the Ubuntu packages. Then we are going to upgrade all our packages. So depending with the, the last time you updated your Ubuntu packages, it, uh, it's going to take some time to upgrade them all. I will give it some time. is it uh, does an upgrade of the Ubuntu packages. Our next step is going to install Python and Python dependencies. So you need uh, to copy those uh, commands, which I'm going to attach them in the description. So basically you can just uh, copy this. And once it finishes uh, upgrading the packages, then we can uh, install Python and Python dependencies. Okay, so if uh, we check uh, if there are any packages that need updating, we can also check whether there are any that need upgrading. They're all up to date. Then uh, you can uh, install these uh, Python dependencies. So our next step is uh, <coughs> we're going to create a new system user for Udo. So for this one, we are going also to copy this uh, command. So our user is uh, called Udo inside a group called uh, Udo also. So that has been done. Then we are going to install a uh, PostgreSQL database, which is uh, the database that uh, Udo runs on.
Okay, that is done. Then our next step is uh, to create a, a PostgreSQL user. So we can just uh, copy this command. And uh, also, you also need to take care because uh, sometimes these uh, characters are different from how you type them. So if you get an error, you may need to just check on that uh, some of these special characters. Okay, that is done. Then we need to install a WK HTML, which is a command line tool for converting HTML data to PDF format using Qt WebKit. Then the next step is going to be to download Odoo files and uh, to create a Python virtual environment. So let's wait for the wkhtml to be installed, which is done. Let me just clear this. So to download the Odoo files, we're going to, first of all, so we're going first of all to switch to the Odoo user to download the Odoo files from GitHub. So to switch to the Udo user, just type uh, su and then the user for Udo. You can see now the user has changed from root to Udo. Then now we can be able to download uh, the Udo community files from GitHub. Okay, as it clones, let's just check here. Okay. So let's just wait for it to download uh, the Udo community files from GitHub. Okay, that's done. So next is uh, we are going to install uh, the Python virtual environment and then we are going to activate it. It is installed, and then you need to activate it. So you know that uh, you're inside the virtual environment because the prompt changes. Then we can proceed. So next is uh, we are going to install uh, Udo by running the below commands. Um, I'm just going to copy them from uh, my text file. So the Udo requirements that uh, are usually in a file called uh, requirements.txt, which is uh, part of the files that were downloaded. So we are going to run this. Then it's going to install all these uh, Udo dependencies and uh, Udo packages. So as it uh, does that, let's just check. So this uh, custom Udo folder is also the same place where we are going to also create uh, the enterprise folder in the next video. So for that, we just need to run this command while still in the virtual environment. Then we need to, so we can exit uh, from the user Udo by typing exit. Then we need to create a, a folder for the log file, which we can do that uh, using inside the, the root user. Then we are going to create a text file called uh, udo.log. This is where the logging will be happening. 
all that is done. So the next up task is to create the udo config file, which uh, we are going to run this command. Since we are inside the root user, we don't need uh, to put uh, sudo. Then we are going to copy these uh, commands for the config. So you can just uh, copy from here. OK, so this uh, admin password is going to be the master password. Uh, being a production uh, setup, it needs to be a strong password. For now, we are going to use that. You can save this. So the password above will be using the master password. So next, we need to create the Udo service, which we can run uh, this command. Then copy these files. Phone is okay, I can just save this. So uh, next we need to enable the Odoo service by running the below command. So we need to start the Udo service. So we've created the service. So to check if the Udo service is running, you can run a system CTL. So it's not running. So we can try to restart it. Once we confirm the service is running uh, on uh, the port 8069, we can come and open our favorite browser. And we can just go to for now, because we have not set up the self-signed certificates and uh, the Nginx, I'm just going to access it via the URL. On port 8069 slash web. So we can uh, proceed to put the master password we chose uh, in the previous step. So we've created uh, our database. We can log in onto the Udo community. And uh, from here, we can install uh, like the sales module. So as it activates the sales module, so now our service uh, we've checked, it's running. And in, the, in our next video, we are going to upgrade this uh, Udo community to enterprise. And uh, some of the modules that are written there upgrade will be able to be installed on the enterprise so
that uh, concludes our video for today. We have been able to set up Udo 17 community for production on a cloud server. In our next videos, we will cover upgrade of uh, Udo community to enterprise and setup of Engine X. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video. We welcome any questions or suggestions. So feel free to email us at uh, info at softiqtechnologies.co.ke and if you can subscribe and like our page, we will appreciate. Thank you.